welcome back to a new video in today's video i'm going to be creating a colorful set of nails <laughs> that's the only way i could describe them um so i've got my madame glam gel polishes down today and i was going to use all these beautiful colors but i i decided in the end because this is the um this is the picture now the colors i have don't quite match so i thought you know what i'm gonna actually go with pigments but i am still gonna use the madame glam gel polish just not so many so we're gonna put those aside and i'll use those another day because those are gorgeous so um to start with i'm gonna use perfect white so this is gonna be the base color for our nails now this design or this um inspo picture was um on a on a youtube oops nearly not that off on a youtube uh, lockdown challenge so i thought you know what i'll give it a go and i can make it into a video why not so there we go that is that that is that right so we have applied one coat of perfect white gel polish i was just going to leave it as one coat because it covers really nicely but there was a little bit of patchiness so i thought right we'll just go over with two just to make sure that our nails are nicely covered and i've got to show you because Oh, there's something so nice about freshly freshly applied gel polish in a minute um so i'm going to go over all the nails obviously and just look at this look at those look at those light lines oh that is like gel polish porn <laughs> i love it anyway that is going to go into the lamp to cure for 30 seconds these are all the pigments i've got these are the neon pigments from nail sugar now they're not actually in stock in the minute at the minute but they will be back in stock early february ready for you know the spring summer months so what i'm gonna do is mine are just left over from last year um i am using a little it's like a little stipply brush thing i don't know it's a really old brush i actually need to get some new sort of pigment and glitter brushes and um, all i'm doing is dabbing the brush into the pigment and then i'm dabbing it into small patches onto the tacky layer if you see what i mean and i and on the picture there was like purples and pinks together uh, i was trying to keep the colors together that were in in the picture or and also colors that will blend nicely together so like orange will blend into pink and yellow and then green would blend into the yellow nicely do you, you know what you know what i'm showing um and then yeah so literally lots of small patches because you'll see why the detail on this nail is going to be really small so we want to keep the patches nice and small and then on some of the other nails we're going to work a little bit like a little bit more zoomed in i think is probably the right phrase <laughs> Now, when I saw this, uh, the, the first, the the video that I saw um, the lockdown challenge on, the, the lady, Simone Radley, actually used gel polish. And that was my, that was my idea initially. And I thought, now I'm going to do something different as well. That's another reason why I thought I'd use the pigments. Because I wanted to do something a little bit different. So when I have completely filled up the nail, I'm going to take a soft brush and I'm gonna just gently brush off the excess pigment. Now, if you push down really hard on this nail, you're gonna remove the pigment and you'll have lines in. So do it with a really soft brush. And then I'm gonna put all the lids on the pigments because I will knock those babies over. <laughs> right, I'm gonna use the Madame Glam top coat now. I'm putting a little bit on my palette and I'm gonna take a detailer brush. No, I'm not, I'm gonna take a dotting tool. But you can, oh, hairy arm. <laughs> You can use a detailer brush to do this. I just thought the dotting tool would be a bit easier. If you do do it, you probably need a dotting tool with a slightly bigger end because this one was tiny and it took me a little bit longer than I can. But if you if you watch here, I'm I'm like floating the product over the pigment. If you push down onto the nail with the metal dotting tool you are as i say you're going to remove the a bit like scratching a car if you imagine scratching a, well i've never scratched a car but if you imagine scratching a car you're going to take the paint off and that's kind of that's kind of what will happen if you push down um with the dotting tool so just float the product over and i'm kind of trying to make i'm making actually making the the, the little shapes random 
a bit like a cow print i suppose but you just kind of want to follow the the same shapes as on the image i mean it doesn't have to be perfect because mine wasn't perfect but um just yeah can you see float it over random shaped blotches or splodges and I'm going to carry this on all the way down the nail, making sure you leave gaps between the splodges. Okay, there we go. I tried to slow it down so you could kind of see. And then pop it in the lamp to cure. Now when that comes out, you want a little bit of cleanser on, your, on a wipe. And you're going to wipe over the nail to remove any pigment that wasn't under... Do you see what's, see what's happened? Now there was a little bit in that top left hand corner that didn't want to come off and I don't know why because I didn't do anything any differently. So what I ended up doing was instead of using a cleanser, I used a bit of acetone and it did actually come off. But it was really annoying, I don't know why, it was really stubborn. Right, so now I've got some perfect black gel polish. Again, I'm going to put a little bit on my palette. That looks like a really cool like cow print doesn't it you could yeah or it, this this set almost reminds me of like animal print because we're gonna add some so like on the nail no not on the nail on the image they've got like little black splodges like random black splodges again i'm using my dotting tool you can use a detailer brush i just thought for this the dotting tool was going to be the easiest option you've got that nice round end so you can just yeah yeah you know what i'm saying so again we're just gonna carry the splodges kind of touching the other splodges and a couple of like smaller ones on the white in between the neon colored splodges <laughs> so technical <laughs> and yeah we're gonna carry it all the way down the nail obviously i honestly i loved how this nail turned out so I'm going to carry it on and I'll show you when it's at the bottom. There we go. That is it. Almost finished. So pop that in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. And then we're going to go over with velvet matte because I want this I want this to be velvety to be matte finished. You can do it shiny. It would look really nice shiny too. And when the pigments are back, you can get 10% off those using my code NATMOG10. Um, or in the meantime, you can get 10% off any nail sugar glitters, etc. and stuffs. My brushes are going to be back in early next week, by the way, so keep your eyes peeled. There we go. That's the first nail done. This is going to be the most difficult nail. I really, really like that. So we're going to go on to the next one now. Now for the next one, I'm going to do a... I tried to do a pigment ombre. I'm really rubbish at this. I tap gently the pigment into one half of the nail and then I wipe off the excess pigment and then I'm going to dip it into the yellow because we're going to do green and yellow and I kind of go over where the green started and then wipe it down and what we're going to do now for the we're going to do this on three nails we're going to do like a close-up it kind of yeah look, I didn't quite get that blend right but if you look at the image there are some colours that meet that do have more of a, they're not very well ombre together. And I suppose that's, you know, now we're using the brush. Now we're using the brush. This is the brush that will be back in stock next week. It's absolutely amazing. So we're going to use this to create some, just imagine we've zoomed in on a section of the nail. And we're going to, we're going to make some of the black blobs now. But this is, this is like very zoomed in. And I'm going to put a little bit along the top. And then I will also put a little bit along the bottom. Isn't this black a nice black? It's nice and opaque. And there we go. The, the bottom bit ended up reminding me a bit of a banana. <laughs> so I tried to change it slightly. I was like, mm, it reminds me of a banana. I was like, oh, do you know what, sod it. We'll just leave it like that. It's got a banana bottom. So there we go. That's going to go in the lamp to cure. And again, the whole set's going to be matte top coated. 
so once I've done that I will pop it in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds just set it really quickly I'm going to pop it into the lamp to cure for 30 seconds then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two more nails um, using two different color pigments and I will show you it's basically doing the same as I've done so I thought I'm not going to show you me doing them all and then we're going to leave one nail white but matte top coated and this is what they end up looking like I was really pleased with them I really liked how they turn out there we go Ta-da! so don't forget you can get 30% off any Madame Glam gel polishes using my code natmug30 10% off anything at nail sugar using my code natmug10 thank you for watching if you did like this video please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing and I will see you beautiful lot tomorrow with another video love you all bye